Myself and my team edit a lot of videos. I mean, a lot, a lot. We're talking double digits every single week. And this isn't just short form content. This is mainly long form podcast episodes and full talking head videos. And when it comes to editing, it takes an insane amount of time. And if you're a video editor or you're just getting into the content creation game, you understand. You understand the amount of time that you have to dedicate to editing, which it's the parts which aren't that fun. We're talking about removing silences or just switching cameras. Luckily, there is a tool to help us out, which can save us hours every single video. This is Autopod. To get started with Autopod, there is a link in the description down below, which will take you to autopod.fm. This video isn't sponsored. This is just a tool that we've been using on our side for the last few months. It saves us a lot of time. So I want to share exactly how to go and use it. And hopefully you could do the exact same thing with the amount of time that you're able to save. Once you've bought into Autopod and your trial has started, that is when you can go for the process of installing the Autopod extension into Premiere Pro. It's fairly simple to do that and Autopod even shows you what to do. But once done, it means that once you go up to the top here, a Windows and then extensions, you'll be able to see the Autopod Jump Cut Editor, Autopod Multi Camera Editor, Autopod Social Clip Creator. So let's go through these one by one. Firstly, with the Jump Cut Editor. So you're seeing on screen that I have brought over a video which I recorded. I haven't done anything to it. So you can see that it ends up going for about 36 minutes long. But you could also see that there's quite a few gaps in between all of it. Like it's not one full recording from start to finish where I nailed it perfectly. That never happens. I mess up quite a bit, especially with some of these longer recordings. So in this case, myself or one of my video editors would then go through and remove each and every single one of those silences and also remove any mistakes that I make. This could take quite a bit of time. It depends whether or not I'm going to sit there and press play all the way through to go through this or whether or not I'm just going to go and try and find those silences and then remove those. This is the bit which I said is kind of tedious and can take quite a bit of time. It's not a problem because once we go over to Windows extensions, and go to the Autopod Jump Cut Editor, it will start to open up this separate tab right here, in which it gives us a few settings, pretty much what we're trying to remove. And this is gonna remove silences throughout this video. So where you are seeing those gaps there, it is going to remove them. So with this, we wanna make sure that it's gonna cut off points, which are less than minus 45 decibels. Uh, that also removes some of this other stuff that I have within here. Maybe not those ones right there, just because it's a bit too loud. Uh, but anything where it's just dead air, or, or maybe I'm just mumbling into my mic, it will remove that. And then normally I go and leave these settings as is, but I will go back through and just adjust them slightly. But that's perfectly fine because it's going to be doing the majority of the work for me. Uh, and then with this, you can go and change this to disable mode, which is going to cut all of these spaces, but just disable the clips. Or you could just go and leave this as the standard mode, which is then just going to absolutely remove everything, delete any of those spaces. And in this case, I don't want to disable them. So I do want to go through and uh, go through and delete them. With this, I'm then just going to go on preview, which is going to take the first section and just show you what it's removing. So it's saying that it's going to remove that first bit up until I talk in which the blue bit is going to be kept there. And then with the red on this side, because it meets these requirements, it's then going to be deleted. So it's already started to map things out right in the center. So with this, we are just going to go through and create jump cuts. And it's going to go through all of our footage. In this case, it's saying it's going to be 1 minute 30 to try and figure out where it's going to make those cuts. And then it will automatically do it. Take a look. And there it goes. We ended up waiting a minute just for it to figure out where it was going to put those cuts. And now it's literally just going straight through making loads of different cuts throughout it's not actually removing anything as of yet because it's, it's gone through tracked where it's going to make those cuts now it's going through making those cuts once it does finally get to the end it will then go through and delete everything with my pc it ends up taking a bit longer uh if you have a higher end pc it's probably going to go through this just like that so much quicker but you can then see it's gone through it's deleted everything i said my pc normally takes a bit of time and then it will go through and it will then delete everything and then condense it to be in the space in which it should be. And there we go. It says Autopod Jump Cut Editor 
has complete. And we've condensed it down. We probably lost about 10 minutes on this. It's down to 27, uh, 27 minutes. Going to say 27 seconds, 27 minutes. But you can now see that it's gone through and made all of those cuts and brought it so much closer. Now, I still need to go through as the video editor, still need to go through and remove those points where I do make mistakes. There's also points like this where I just need to sort of clean that car up a bit. I can go through and change the settings as part of Autopod to make it a bit more closer, but I still like to go through and have a bit of that extra room between each cut so I can go through and add those transitions myself, whether or not I'm going to do something a bit more fancier or whether or not it's going to be a just a simple jump cut. But just make sure that it flows a lot better. But this already saves me so much more time. So the jump cut editor is pretty cool, but where Autopod really excels is kind of within the name, Auto Podcasting. Well, I believe it's supposed to stand for that because their Autopod editor is a lot better. This is where we can actually go through, look at podcast episodes between multiple guests or multiple different camera angles, and then quite easily switch the camera depending on who's talking. So what I have right here is just an example so with this we have the host at the top with their audio track at the bottom being audio 2 and then with this we have a guest which at the minute because the host is on top means that they're actually you can't see it as of right now but of course when we see this we can actually see the audio that we have the host talking and all of a sudden the guest is talking and the host is talking and so on but we would then need to go through and do these cuts ourselves and with this Autopod can do it for us. So when we go up to window, go to extension, this time we are going to go through and look at the multi camera editor. Now with this, we need to do a bit more of a setup so we can then go and see that we want cutting method to be standard, white shot frequency, medium. There's going to be two speakers. There's going to be two cameras. If you have more speakers or more cameras, then of course you can then switch that. With the advanced settings, I normally keep delay and also ignore cuts less than the same. This would change if I wanted it a bit more frequent or much closer to when someone starts speaking, it automatically goes and switches to them. So with this, we have uh, audio one, which in this case is going to be Alum. Audio two is going to be Jordan. We then go through video one is then also going to be Alan. And then video two is going to be Jordan. So this just makes sure that it's aligned with both audio tracks and also video tracks. So with this, just like before, we will then go through. We are going to go and press create multicam edit and click. And then it goes through the process again. Yet again, it's loading out the full video to see when people are talking and when it's going to switch, trying to track when that's going to happen. And then it'll go through and automatically do it for us. And there it goes. This one is going to be much quicker. There's not as many cuts that are needed compared to the one that I recorded, which was my mistakes. But you can see that it's immediately just jumping all the way through and the Autopod multi camera editor has successfully completed in which we press OK. We can close this down and you will see that it has gone through and it has made those cuts so that now when we go through pressing play, it's showing Alan then it jumps to Jordan when he talks then back to Alan and just keeps on going through. There may still be those points where you need to go through. And this is also the same with the jump cut editor, where if there are mistakes, as in people are talking, the host is talking, or in this case, it was me that was talking. If I was to repeat what I had to go and say because I messed up my words, then of course, that's still going to be included. That doesn't automatically get removed. So you still need to go through, still need to play through, make sure that you remove those mistakes, make sure that the transitions are cut and tidy but more than anything, this is going to save you a lot of time when going through that first initial revision. And then you carry on going through just to add those extra improvements. So it's not the case of replacing video editors, which is what a lot of people have been saying. It just makes video editing a lot easier so that you can focus on the bits which are more enjoyable and well, less tedious. And the third way in which we can use Autopod is to get clips from our recorded and edited footage. Now with this one, I must admit, I don't use this as much just because there's better AI tools and other software that can be used to do this. But if you wanted it all in just one program, you can. So with this, I've gone through and I've selected, we've gone back to our original recording, the one that I recorded. And in here, let's just say I said something amazingly profound, which can be used as its own social media clip 
or a YouTube short, Instagram reel, TikTok, Facebook reel, whatever it may be. Well, okay then, we want to go and select this one just here, in which I can go in, mark in there, go all the way to the end, mark out here so that we've selected that individual clip. And just like before, we're going to go up to Windows, Extension, go down to Social Clip Creator. Now, with this, we then have the option of how we want this clip to be presented. These are the common ones. 1920 by 1080, eight, uh, sorry, 1080 by 1350 and 1080 by 1920. So we still got our normal video, one which is a bit more square for the likes of Instagram, and then one which is vertical. Uh, we can also go through and make sure that like, we reframe it. We can go and add some watermarks if need be. We don't need to go and do that. So what I'm going to do is just go and press create clips in which this time what ends up happening and it's done this very quickly because it doesn't need to do much is that it has just created those as separate sequences so to speak so that we can actually go through and edit those just making it a bit easier for us to then go through create these have them ready and then from here what we can go do is go and edit these individually so if we wanted to we can go through add some captions we can go and put some text pop-ups on here we could do what we need to so that it is suitable for whether or not we're going to upload this onto the likes of twitter or if we're going to have this as a youtube short or if we're going to go through and put this as an instagram post whatever that may be it's now here and but if I started it's now playing through so this one i don't use as much still see the use cases just for you to separate your footage into clips but as I said, for me, there's better AI tools and software out there that you can do the exact same thing with. And there you go. That is how you can go and use Autopod to make life a thousand times easier. With this, you now don't need to go through and do the tedious jobs of removing silences or switching between cameras if it's the likes of podcasts. If you enjoyed this video and you are currently going through and building your very own personal brand over on YouTube, then I highly recommend clicking this video right here. That video goes through a step-by-step -step guide on exactly what you should be doing. I hope you enjoy.